Okay, so this is day two. We finally got everything we need from the hardware store. Um, basically, I didn't have enough of this uh, wire coming from the solar panel. I'm going to run this out of the house and drill through our house and get it inside, and we'll start wiring it up. Okay, so we made it in the house with the wires. So this is the positive and the negative that come from the solar panel. And first thing we're gonna do is run them through um, this breaker. Okay, so I got the wiring through the breaker box and connected into our charger. And the reason we're using a breaker box is if anything happens to this cable outside, um, it's gonna trip this breaker before it messes up anything in our charger. All right, and next I'm gonna run wiring from our charger and connect it to our batteries. Okay, so these are six volt batteries and we need it to be 12 volts. So basically what I'm gonna do here is bridge them together, running the negative to the positive, which is this um, one foot long piece of battery wire. And then I'm gonna run, um, the solar panels came to the charger, and then from the charger, I'm going to run it to um, the positive, which is this one, from the solar panel, and the negative, which is this one, into the battery. Okay, so we did something right. I got all the batteries connected, and the charger turned on. So, um, yeah, I'm going to finish um, wiring it up and kind of clean this up. The next thing that we need to do is actually get this inverter on. I think we might need to ground it and we need to wire this inverter into our fuse panel, or our breaker box, which is right there. And as soon as we have that wired into that, um, our house should work normally, and the outlet should work, light switches, and so on. But that's if we did everything right. Okay, so this is showing us that um, you know, we're new to solar, so we don't really know what this means. All I know what it means is that it's drawing um, wattage from the panels, and we're sitting at 12.5 volts. Anyways, I'm going to pull up, there's an, this inverter comes with a plug on it, so you can plug straight into it before you wire it into your house. So I'm going to plug it in and see if we actually have power. All right, so um, right now this light is running completely off our batteries and our solar power, so we're pretty stoked. And we don't have to sit in the dark tonight. So they come with the charge, the batteries? Uh, it looks like the batteries came charged. Um, I know you don't want to let these batteries get under, I think it's like 50 or 60 percent, so that's when you want to charge them back up with the generator if the sun's not powering them enough. Okay, so the next part of this is we are going to um, wire this in a way where we can plug our generator in and the generator will charge these batteries for days when we're not getting enough sun for um, the sun to charge the batteries. So I've just ran this um, outside and I'm going to wire it into, get some light on this, um, our AC in. And what that is, is that's saying that um, this is where the power is going to come into this inverter. The AC out is where the power is going to come out of this inverter and we're going to wire that into the actual house. Okay, so this is how we're going to run um, our plug. And this is basically just a plug you would get like on an extension cord. So they're pretty easy to um, wire in. You got your power, ground, and your neutral. And there's three spots in there. They say right where to go. And you wire them in. And don't forget to put your thing, your little cap on first. So those lights are on over there in our kitchen. Tonight we celebrate. Pretty stoked. So, um, of course, we ran low on something again. Um, we had enough wire to just kind of makeshift it to our control panel from our inverter. Um, I'm going to have to get a longer piece of wire so we can, you know, hide the wire. And obviously we're going to clean everything up and um, make it look all nice and tidy. Um, but yeah, we're stoked. So um, our lights work in our house, our outlets are working, and this all just 
comes on and off completely on solar. Okay, today is day three solar install. Um, Eric and I did some research on the tilt that our panel should have where we're at. And that goes by your latitude. So where we're at right now is just under 62 degrees um, latitude. So we adjusted these kind of like uh, horizontal bars. We adjusted those. Eric actually cut a little bit of the length off because that's what we had to do to get it to that tilt. Um, and so what we'll do in the summer is we will actually put a slider, another bar extender and put the panels up. That is much more at a better slant now. And what we also did was adjusted it side to side too, because we were a little bit off. We were facing the east a little bit and you want to be what is called true south. And true south is if you come out at noon and there's sun out and you look at where the shadow's pointing. So we don't have that. So we're actually using magnetic south, um, but it does point kind of like that direction. So theoretically we're in the right zone. It may not be perfect, perfect, but from what I read, that should be fine. And our, we're using our phone as a, what's it called? The meter? Just to get the angle of the panels. Yeah, we don't have an instrument, so I use my phone. Um, and we wanted to be at a 77 degree angle in that bottom corner and 13 degrees up top. And it's closer to 72. So it's as close as we can get. And so we're going to leave it like that again, probably from here all the way until March, maybe even April, and adjust it at that springtime until your winter. Okay, so we got everything kind of cleaned up and wired um, where we're going to put it. This whole system... Um, this is we've only been in our cabin for a couple months um, next year we plan on adding on to that side of the house kind of like a sunroom area and this is all going to go outside so this is just temporary for this year but come on in i can show you exactly what we did the solar panels come into the breaker box which go into our charger and that controls um, charging the batteries and then our inverter is hooked into the batteries and that inverts it from uh, dc to ac power and then here I have the AC in, and that's um, run outside to an extension cord that hooks into our generator, and that'll charge these batteries if we're not getting any sun. And then here I have the AC power out, which runs down along the wall, and it runs behind the wall here, and it runs into our breaker box. So, it's pretty cool the way it's wired. You can just use all the outlets in the house. Um, all of our switches work. Okay, so then this is our kind of main area light. Um, we need to change those light bulbs out because they're not LED efficient light bulbs, which is gonna be a pain because of how tall they are. We don't have a ladder that tall. Okay, so we're upstairs in the loft. I'm not gonna show you guys that much because it's not very pretty up here yet. Pretty messy. Anyways, this switch right here does that same light that I just showed you, the one kind of in the main area. And then this switch does the LED lights in our room, which are pretty awesome. And that's all the lights in the house. Um, let's head back downstairs. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about our battery setup. So the way our system is set up is all of our batteries and everything are in our primary living area. Our house is pretty small, so we didn't have anywhere outside to put them. When these batteries are charging, they're gonna let off hydrogen gas. Um, so what we're gonna do is build a box around them and we're gonna vent it so it has somewhere to vent to. And what that's also gonna do is keep all of our wires and everything enclosed. We don't have kids or anything like that running around that's gonna pull on the wires. We do have one cat that chews on stuff. So technically, we might not need um, to do this ventilation system. Our, I mean, this house isn't too tiny and we do leave the windows open a lot for ventilation. But we're basically gonna do this as a safety precaution. Um, we're pretty new to solar, like we've said. Okay, so we wanted to do like a little recap because we assumed a lot of people cost is a big factor in a solar system. Um, so we have our actual receipt here, our invoice. Uh, we went with a company, company in Anchorage. I will link them in the comments or in the description. They're an awesome company. Um, the guy, I don't know if he's the manager, just did a great job at helping us through this process. But all in all, for the system we got, it was probably 3000 We paid about 2800 
at the actual store and then we got some extra wire some extra things from from Lowe's. Yeah. So. All in all, from buying it to installing it, having it set up, we're at three thousand dollars. And we get a tax refund. I think that's a federal thing. You get a thirty percent refund back on the system you buy at you know in this year of two thousand eighteen. So that's kind of a nice thing. It's always nice too. So that'll drop us down to closer to about two thousand dollars for this whole system. The other thing we want to kind of talk to you guys about is if you're leaning toward sol toward solar. Or if you're wondering why would I get solar, I mean, we're just going to go through some of our reasoning as to why we chose that for our cabin. Yeah, we could get hooked up to electricity. There is um, power lines semi-close to here. And um, through the power company, they gave us an estimate of, anyway, it was probably anywhere from five to $10,000 to have them actually run power here. I think it was closer to five. Yeah, well, anyways, we don't, Main reason we didn't want to do that is we don't want to be dependent on the power company and we don't want a monthly, monthly bill. Um, and we also just want to, you know, we don't use a lot of electricity. We really don't. We charge phones, laptop, cameras. Um, and then when we're running like, you know, power equipment saws and stuff like that, we just fire up the generator and use that. So we, don't, we looked at what we we're going to use here. We may or may not have a fridge or freezer, not decided on that. We won't have a washing machine or a dryer, most likely. Um, no, no TV. No microwave. Vacuum, blow dryer, all, coffee pot, lots of things. So if you're, if you're thinking about it, look into it. You may be surprised that it's more affordable than you think, or maybe it'll just help you save a little bit um, and, and just shave a little bit off or quite a bit off of your monthly electricity bill. Yeah, and if... You know, you're worried about putting it in yourself or whatnot. Um, just do your research. So we hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them for us. And we'll get back to you if you want to know specifics on the system. And we'll let you know how things go with the system in the winter. Yep. And if we did anything wrong installing this, if we're this what we did was completely crazy and you're like an expert at this, uh, let us know. Because we have no idea what we're doing over here. Hopefully it's not.